Okay, it says we are live. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my regular Wednesday night live. Hello Twitch, hello DLive, hello YouTube. So um, before we begin, um, the today's Bible verse comes from uh, the book of the first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20. Listen to what I'm about to say. It's in the Bible. God bought you with a high price, so you must honour God with your body because he sacrificed his. Chapter 6, verse 20. Okay, today's guest is Vanessa Valentine. She's a musician with a twist, releasing music about our freedoms. Um, she also has a YouTube channel uh, where she has been documenting certain moments that flabbergast her um, regarding Victoria's medical apartheid. Um, and she understands prison in a way people might not expect as a self-admitted former addict of heroin. And now she opposes our government and discriminate um, our government and discrimination toward those who have chosen not to place a foreign substance into their bodies. And what is it like at the moment with lockdowns when you cannot do gigs? which is the culture of the musician. We find out today with our beautiful guest, Vanessa Valentine. I'm going to pop her on now. Hello. Hey, thanks so much, dear. That was a um, great intro. Yes, well, it's all you. It's all you, girl. This awesome. is your story. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, thank you very much. That's very cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I think um, having researched you a little bit more, you actually do have a really interesting story to tell. I didn't know that about the, and you're okay to talk about it because you've spoken, you've totally. admitted it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you are a former heroin addict. And so as someone who has placed a foreign substance into her body, yeah, that uh, respectfully, that would have yeah. been the time to be like, do not enter my establishment. And now <laughs> <laughs> like you're free of yeah. that. And yeah. A doctor will not see you. It's insane. Oh it my is, gosh! Please, it, uh, talk it's, to, please. It's, yeah. I'm just going to no. give you the platform. I'm not going to talk. Tell me your story. It is crazy. You know, um, I, I was a, a heroin addict for ten plus years. Uh, lived on the streets. Uh, did, you know, put horrible things into my body. Didn't care, and then spent a long time, long, long time working really, really hard. I guess uh, to get where I am now. And to be worthy of a, of a good life, I've worked hard um, and I want to look after my body, uh, to now be told that it, it's just insane. Um, I had a, a tele chat uh, because that doctor refused to see me in Victoria, which is crazy. Um, insane. That made me angry. Uh, I was watching uh, look, it and I felt like crying. Like your video yeah. made me angry. Like I was mad. Yeah. So I show a lot of that stuff. It's so funny, like you're always going to get the odd trolls and stuff and they all say, oh, all you do is cry. And, you know, like if people watch my videos, certainly I don't always cry. But the reason I show that we're is because, women. well, we are women, right? We, and we feel and we're emotional and we're passionate, right? And that's a really good thing. And I think it's really important to, to care, to give a shit enough to, to cry. Um, mm -hmm. But look, I have never in my life, like I said, I've been homeless. I've been the trash on the street that you pass, like quite literally. Aww. And I have never felt so humiliated um, and cast out as I did being turned away from a doctor. And, you know, I wasn't there with the runny nose or, you know, th this was a, a, an appointment booked in two weeks prior for something totally unrelated. And I even called them the morning um, of that appointment just to say, you know what, I've got a mask medical exemption, just letting you know, sure, no worries, uh, just to turn me away. And, and I just go, when your doctors can't use logic and reason because fear has taken mm -hmm. over, like that's pretty scary. It is scary. And it's funny too because um, I recently play, yeah, people are kind of shocked. Oh, my friend is like a WTF. Um, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's people can't believe it. But do you know what? This sorry is, to cut you off, dear. But no, you know, it's my home state. I'm sad about it. It's it's so sad, and that's why I'm actually so happy. You're if if I'm allowed to say that you're. Gonna, I'm considering coming back. You're yes. possibly coming back. Possibly. You know, because we need people 
so many people have fled and people say to me, why don't you leave? And I'm like, well, if I'm not here and everyone leaves, then who's going to be here to mm. step up and say no? Like, so we, we really do need more people willing to stand up. And this isn't about whether you're jabbed or not, whether you're religious or not, it doesn't matter. This is literally about freedoms and, and all of us being equal and coming together. So the more, the merrier. But look, I could not believe it. And I've never in my life felt that um, scared, actually. Okay. It was terrifying. So can I ask, you say that you were the trash on the street. So you yeah. literally were one of those people that I would have walked past and yeah. put money in your cup. Yeah. You yeah, really I, were I, in that situation. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, and I laugh a lot and I joke about it when people say, oh, I'm homeless. And, and I'm like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, you know, a lot of people throw that around or like I'm a drug addict. And I was like, no, no, no. I wasn't couch surfing. I didn't have friends to couch surf on. I was that person on the street using well, if an old I blanket. Known you, I would have let you sleep <laughs> on my couch. Oh no, you probably would have wanted me to back then. I, Maybe I not a, if you were doing I, heroin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was a pretty. I was a. You know, I wasn't an honest person back then. I would have given you a Bible, maybe. <laughs> well, and that's fine. You know, I actually was given a Bible by a beautiful youth worker of mine at the time. Oh, good. Um, and she was, was one of my favorite. That. Yeah, she was one of my favorite workers. She was really beautiful. Um, so it was a really nice gesture from her. Um, but yeah, that was by far. I mean, mm. I would rather go back to that than where we are now. How insane is that? That's a yeah. real. That's a real commentary on on the current situation right now. And so, what happened? Um, I know. So I didn't mean this to be about that, but I am interested in this. In, yeah. In it. No. So you you how how did you come to first try heroin? Because like the only drug I've ever tried is when I was in the Netherlands. You know, I did a bit of marijuana. Like. Yeah, oh, big yeah. rebel deer. Like, no, that, that, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, that's all I've ever really done. But yeah. um, how, how do you go from something as harmless as that to that? To well, that? I'll sh <laughs> yeah, I'll shock you even further. I, I never okay. even used, I'd never even used marijuana. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, so it, yeah, it was in, t so my story is a little bit unique in that I, you know, I came from a family that um, didn't use drugs and, you know, they didn't swear or smoke or, you know, like I was brought up by my mum's family um, and they were really beautiful, loving people. Um, there was a, a lot of trauma, though, from other stuff that had happened. Um, and at about, and I was terrified of drugs. Like it, it, at 13, I remember being really scared of the thought of, oh, you don't do that, it's horrible. Um, and... I had some trauma come up for me, I guess, remembering a lot of trauma. And I, I guess I fell into a depression. And mm. then I don't know why uh, I started fixating on heroin and what that would be like. And I don't know where that came from. I have no idea. It's bizarre. Um, and I literally asked a girl at school who I knew dealt pot. And she looked at me like I was crazy. She was like, you, like what are you talking about? Like, I sell pot. Anyway um she came back to me a few weeks later and she was like actually i can get you some some heroin and i was like oh my god um and literally that was it like the you know i smoked it for a little bit but um it it just you know i was 15 it stopped everything it stopped the world there was no anger hurt um sadness there was no happiness it was just nothing and for me at that time that's what i wanted um and it just you know, it went from every weekend to most days uh, and then very quickly every day. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so it must just be that addictive that um, you ended up homeless because I'm guessing here, but I'm, I'm taking this off cartoons I've watched throughout the years and movies. Yeah. Um, you start to steal and you start to take money from where you can and then it, it, you just wind up on the street. Is that sort of your story? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, my story is so long. I'm just trying. Oh, to I know, and this is I, not I, the topic of the show, but I really no, want that, to talk about it. Yeah, that's okay. So, um, I will try yeah. to just grab little bits for no, you. No, please, please. Um, so, what was your question? Oh, yeah. Okay, so how do you? Did end you up, steal? Like, like yeah. why? How did you end up homeless? Like, were yeah, you living yeah. in a house, paying rent, and then all of a sudden just didn't? Like, what? Yeah. Happened? So, yep. Cool. So, at 14, I got linked in with like a drug and alcohol service. Um, and I had youth yeah. workers and stuff like that. And then obviously my relationship with my family was really strained at that time. They didn't really know what was going on. They didn't know I was using heroin. I was trying to, I was trying to do year 11 at the time, 
you know, mm. like it was just really, so they had no idea there was a lot of fighting going on. Um, at that point, I did still have friends, school friends. So I left to stay with them. And then from there, I went into my first rehab at about 17. Mm. Rehab's good and bad. It's great because, yeah, you take a bit of uh, time away from drugs, but then you meet other drug users, right? Uh. So, yeah. So for me, I met another drug user. We became really, really close. And, um, and then I left rehab with that person uh, in like a supported accommodation for drug addicts, basically. Um, and then the thing is, you know, if you use heroin for like four days in a row, five days in a row, you're mm -hmm. going to wake up on the sixth day not feeling well physically. So mm -hmm. it is physically addictive and so that is why you do. You end up every penny will go to drugs. Like, you know, and it's not heroin withdrawals, you know, when people say you're sick because it's so addictive, it's not like a, a cold. Like you are, and this is quite descriptive, but, you know, I've been so sick from withdrawing that, you know, I've, this is very descriptive, but seeing as, no, go ahead. Know, I, I mean, I'm an open book, but like you cannot control, um, Having trouble connecting. Oh, sorry. Can you see me? Hello? Yes. Can you see me here? Yeah, it went funny there. I think but, my internet is bad or yours is. But mine is being funny too, though. I can see that's that. That's okay. I've, I've had some issues before lately, actually, with the internet. So it could be mine as well, but it seems fine for the minute. <laughs> that's not a good combination. No. However, no. They're, saying that, they're saying that Victorians, the Victoria internet is, is bad. That's what they're saying. How convenient. Um, yeah, well, I mean, if that's true, it's, that's probably going to happen Australia-wide unless we fight back. But anyway. Um, yeah, absolutely. Everything yeah. in Victoria is bad. Literally everything. The weather, like everything, every element. It's just shit all around. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's yeah, fine. Everyone I love yeah. is there. Everyone I love is there. Um, yeah, but it's okay. Really you hard. said, what did you, what did you get up to? You said, some, oh, just, what did you say? Yeah. Look, you do, you get really sick from heroin withdrawal. So, you know, yeah. like I would be but covered is it your in, bodily functions? Is it? Yeah. So you, you're, so what, you, you, you so you, a you lot, yeah, you, a lot. you no, you will shit yourself. You will vomit. Um, mm. you know, I was vomiting, you know, when you're withdrawing. Sounds like gastro. It's, it's almost like gastro. Cause I've had that a lot. And I, the yeah. good thing about gastro is, I mean, I hate it when I'm in it. I always yeah. lose weight. <laughs> I, everybody says that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a horrible thing though. Um, it's so, so horrible. yeah, it's almost like gastro. Uh, but there's, it's, it's the weirdest. Uh, it's just a horrible, it's like a violent sickness that doesn't go away. And I guess, you know, all it takes is, 30 seconds, like you put something in your body and you're back to normal. And that's where the stealing comes from. So you know? once the heroin is back in your body, you feel better again. Straight away, within 20 that's seconds, incredible. 30 seconds. Yeah. So is, is the best way to get off heroin to wean yourself off of it? Or is it better to do a hot, uh, what's the word, cold turkey? Is the cold turkey. Um, I don't think weaning yourself off heroin works. I think you'd have to be incredibly strict uh, and have a lot of will, you know, um, I don't think, yeah, I, I, I think if you're going to do it, you just stop. Yeah. Cold Turkey. Um, mm. or you get on a, a short program that's going to help you, but not a long-term one. Yeah. Mm, my, um, my only addiction really is Coke Zero. <laughs> and, Coke Zero. <laughs> and I struggle with, I struggle yeah. to not drink it. Like I, I've tried, like when I was living with my parents, it was easier, but being alone, like yeah. I live now at like, you know, I always end up buying it. And even though I don't want it, I'm like, oh, I'll just buy it. And then for like, say a couple of days, I'm drinking kombucha and like juices and and water, good water. Like the, I've, I've adopted this, you know, I think filtered yeah. water is a good filtered idea. Water. Yeah. So I've done all of that and I'm doing all of that and then it's good. And then I start drinking Coke Zero again. And when I'm drinking it, I feel like I'm tasting like sugary medicine. It like I don't like it, but then eventually I drink it enough that I like it again. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Is that the same with drugs? Isn't that yeah. weird? Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, well, it's addiction. I guess addiction is the it, same regardless of on what it is. 
It's not retarded. Sure. It's, yeah. How, so, how many uh, do you drink a day? No, not a lot. It's a lot less okay. than it used to be. It used to be, it used to be not, I never had it in the morning, but I would always okay. have it as a snack. I would always have it um, at night. I would always have it out with girlfriends and stuff like that. Yeah. And now that I'm surrounding myself with more and more uh, people like yourself, people who want to, t- to, to know what they're taking in their body, yeah. I'm taking that so literally now that I'm even getting a personal trainer. Um, wow. she's, gonna, she's going to control my food intake. Well, she's not going to control it, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I'm really going out of my way to, and apparently, and this is things that you might already know that I'm still kind yeah. of learning. Apparently yeah. the type of food that you eat, apparently the type of liquid, the amount of water that you drink, all of that can affect yeah. your skin, your hair, your all yeah. of the things I never thought of. And so, yeah, sure, I want to get more toned. Yeah, sure, I yeah. want to I want to have slightly more energy, which is probably a bad idea because I'm already a high-energy individual. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad so, thing. No, but yeah, so then to take it to the level of, um, oh, my hair will be better, my skin will be less dry, um, my, you, you know, I have, feel I have bumps generally. on my skin. That, I mean, my skin isn't horrid, but I have bumps on my skin. Apparently, like eating certain types of food can get rid of that or can, can yeah. lower that. Like, yeah. And so, it, I mean, why aren't we learning this? That's a in struggle. School? That's exactly. True. Because yeah. there's something in the industry. I watched something on Netflix called, it was, it was, it was about veganism. And I'm not a vegan, but I can mm-hmm. definitely applaud vegans for, for one thing. And that is, um, wanting to control your food and, yeah. and, um, and, because of pesticides and chemtrails and steroids that that you know like um all of that i think the doctors have to keep you sick sick enough and they don't know that some of them do but some of them don't know that they're they're in that and so as someone who was a heroin addict did you come to realize everything we're talking about right now sometime later or are you in that moment now because i'm still i'm still developing i'm still developing in this moment now i'm only realizing it now I think we're always all, I think we're all always learning. So I'm, you know, always learning something new and I'm not perfect. I, Mm. I still smoke cigarettes. So for me, Mm -hmm. that's a horrible thing, you know, but that's on my list, you know. But it works on your songs. Your music style is husky. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. It's such a horrible habit though. But, um, (laughs) you know, but I think as long as we're always trying to be better, and, you know, my mum, I was really fortunate. My mum was all about um, natural, you know, but not like That's not not uh, trending natural stuff, but just like, you know, doing it the old school way, the way her parents did it, you know, having a really good, healthy diet, um, nothing processed, um, you know, taking vitamins if you can, drinking a lot of water. So I was constantly hearing that growing up. Um, and then mm. obviously as I got clean, all that sort of came back. And then now... It's crazy, like, now that I actually care about what I'm putting into my body, this is fucking all happening. It's How just, insane. Um, yeah. One of the – someone in the audience is uh, – by the way, guys, a lot of you are new viewers. Thank you for jumping on. Um, usually I do questions at the last 15 to 20 minutes of the hour, but the question from Soup of Success is a good one, and I should have asked it. Um, when did you quit and how long have you been sober? Yeah, so this is another <laughs> – Another convoluted story. But, but, but I'll try and make it as quick as I can. I was at one point I was clean uh, for about seven years um, and I really thought I was above heroin use. I really, really did. Um, and, you know, I've learned my lesson. You never, ever um, think that you are above that. And I did relapse and I relapsed for another five years. Um, oh, and probably, that's a long time. Yeah, but this is how it is. Like relapse, um, you know. If you don't pull yourself out quickly, then you are going to suffer for a long time. And that's what I did. I, I lost another five years, you know, um, and that was just, no, it was my fault really. But um, Obviously, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. really one of the biggest things I regret, the time that I lost. And so I feel time. like I'm making up for all this lost time. Um, I'm probably about three, I, I stopped counting because uh, I don't like too much attention on it, but I'm probably about three years clean from heroin, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. And and have you rebuilt all of the relationships? Not Maybe not all, but the ones with family, blood. Yeah, have you 100%. Rebuilt that? Yeah, 100%. And a lot of my friends, my real friends, um, yeah. So I'm very fortunate. Back. Yeah, mm. very fortunate. Do you know what's funny is, are you going through this, is that um, you're losing friends not because of your heroinism, but because 
heroism that sounded funny <laughs> yeah. um so it's, it's, a good word. Yeah, good word. Slightly, yeah. it's like a great word if it's the, if yeah. it's used as it, if it's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah um because of your politics you know what which has been worse <sighs> actually let's play that game what was worse losing losing your friends because of heroin or losing them because of politics how what what quantity has been more has it been more lately or more with your past Oh man, like the past I understood. You want it, yes, like I, that I makes got sense. it. I, I yeah. was a dishonest criminal heroin addict. You don't want me in your life. I get it. Fair enough. But now, you know, and also, dear, so as a musician, you know, I toured a lot. I had a I had a great career um with an all girl band. Um, we did some amazing stuff and then I did a lot of solo stuff. I'm not joking, I was respected and applauded, right? For my uh, writing, uh, lyrical writing ability to, well, uh, I was just, well, I was just very honest, right? And I spoke mm -hmm. a lot, uh, you know, a lot of the songs were about heroin and they were really very raw and honest. People love that. And what is so interesting is I was once applauded for that and respected for that way of writing. And now I never set out to be a political writer, like to, to be a, an activist musician. That was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I never, but I started writing about what was happening in the same way that I was writing about my heroin addiction, but everyone hated it now. Now I'm not allowed to speak up and be honest standard, and it's not applauded. Mm. It just reminds me of my sister when she was in high school was a bit of a prodigy. She was extremely intelligent. She was great at writing essays. And one day she had an assignment and she got like an A plus for it by this teacher. Wow. And she gave it to me and I used it three years later when I was wow. in that class. And the teacher gave me like a C for it. I knew right there that the standard for her and I was different, that she didn't like me. She liked my sister. She didn't remember the assignment. Oh and that is exactly, God. that is, they, they use that as an analogy to describe like literally society right now. Yeah. Literally because of, of, of you know, whether you choose to be a pin cushion or not. That's a and then, sorry, and that's then, awesome pin cushion. Yeah. yeah, pink cushion. Yeah, I, I I made that up. I don't know how I thought of it, but yeah. And you come along, and you used to put substances in your body, and and now that you're not doing that, you're being punished. Like, it, I, come the, on. What, when, I know, man. Please. Like, yeah. What an interesting story about. Is this about? I just go. The world. When people say the world has gone up, like is upside down, it is, and. and I just, I mean, we just need more open, honest discussions. Like we don't have to agree, like agree. Like I had managers, managers and long-term friends. They cut me off just because, because I had, a, because I had a different view, even though I said, I don't care that we don't agree. Like mm. it's okay, but this is how I'm feeling. And this is what I'm actually seeing the damage that it's doing. They, it, you know, you could fight before this, you could fight about anything and still be yeah. friends but now yes mostly true yes yeah, yeah. I, I did have friends because i am a christian and yeah. that doesn't automatically you equal hating gays it doesn't but i yeah. i didn't agree with the with the vote i i, I, I would have voted yeah. no had i had i had i voted yeah. Fair enough. um but i still had gay friends and they understood where i was coming from i still showed them love and respect and paid for their dinners and vice versa well, like guess... it was fine yeah, yeah. Go ahead, no, what were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, well, it is your vote, you know, and, and that's, mm. you know, you're allowed to vote however you want. Um, like, you've got gay friends. Like, people just need to calm down a little bit, I mm. think. But that's the start All of round. it. All yeah. I feel like that was the start of it. I was speaking to someone else about it, and he said he reckons the start of it was 9-11, mm. which is probably true, which yeah, is probably a true. Uh, a lot of people say that. I didn't see it then. I saw yeah. it only, and this is probably me just being a late bloomer when it comes to being more aware and more conscious, but I saw it, this will sound odd, but I saw it when Caitlyn Jenner came out as Caitlyn Jenner. That's when I noticed it. Oh, From wow. there, everything. So went, are you talking Oof. about, are you talking about the divide? The, I'm like, talking the, the about, divisive... I'm talking about the main new world order type agenda stuff. Ah, and I think, it, I think okay. it happened. That's where I noticed it, but I agree yeah. that it probably happened in 9-11. And I was, I was recently just watching a video because I like the YouTube channel Prager University. I get a lot yeah. of my sort of, con cons it's a conservative channel, but they, I think they're accurate. I believe them to okay. be accurate. And they were yeah. talking about how in 19, no, it wasn't Prager University. It was a video that I was watching earlier today, but the guy in the video said 
that in 1964 in the United States, the Bible was outlawed to uh, to schools because America is a Christian country. You go to America, you abide by, you don't have to be a Christian, but you got to abide by, you got to acclimate yourself to that environment. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they took it out. They took out the Bible from schools. It became a bad thing. And then from that moment onwards, things started to change. There were fa oh. fathers were not in the home as often. So it never got there put were, back in? It never got put back in schools? Unless the school is a Christian private school, okay. the public schools never put it back in, no. Wow. And yeah. from there is where pregnancies went up and all these different things. I was watching this video literally earlier today. I wish I could quote it properly. I, I know I know what it was that I was watching. I just got to find it. But, um, yeah, anyway, long story short, uh, we don't know the exact point that it started because yeah. many people say, no, it started with the Spanish flu. It started yeah, all the way back then. I know. And, and it, maybe it, it probably did. But it probably we did. It probably we're not, did. We didn't see that, you know. We weren't there. Um, yeah. Exactly. So we can only go off what we are seeing, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. and so people have not changed that much, I don't think, but the only difference is now that we are far more controlled than we ever have been because of subliminal yeah. messaging, because of yeah. all of that. Um, so you would have been in your heroin days a useful idiot. Yeah. Now you're not yeah. on it. You've woken yeah. up. You took the yeah. red pill. You're no longer in the matrix and yeah. you're the enemy. Yeah. You are I, a bad I, person. I know, and I have moments, and maybe you do as well, where I go, wow, at least I'm free. And I, and I for a minute, feel free, you know. Mm. Um, and then I remember, like, there's this massive battle ahead. Um, and I just, I think the struggle is, I don't know how so many, like, they have done such a good job at um, dumbing us all down. Mm. And that's why people are... You know, most people are just going about their day like there is no problem. Absolutely. And there's a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, – it was from um, – the where I got the 1964 details from was from Coyona House, Learn the Bible in 24 Hours, Chuck Missler. So somewhere in there he talks about in 1964 the Bible was outlawed and that from that moment everything changed. And here in Australia, oh, um, I'm being told that it was the Whitlam government that did it, and I know the Whitlam government was um, nineteen some nineteen seventy or, or, bef or, or before. Or, Isn't that yeah, crazy? So. It's it's almost like yeah. everybody I ever thought was good, or anybody my grandparents ever told me was good. Now Is I'm it? learning. Oh my god, they were the enemy. Like they, Oprah they Winfrey. Oh. I admired her. I loved her. And look, I yeah. still, I still think, I still watch some of her interviews. Girl, oh, that was a great interview. I still like that. Yeah. But like, yeah. I saw a photo of her sucking on Harvey Weinstein's earlobe, and I'm like, wasn't she molested as a kid? What's she doing? Like, and just all this weird stuff. And it's like you learn about certain people. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get into details now because no. I don't want to get cancelled. But I'm, I'm, all yeah. I'll say is Martin Luther King. But you guys can look into that yourselves. I'm not going to say anything more, anything less. But I will look story. into that. Okay. Yeah. You've yeah, got me intrigued now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I know it's scary. It's scary when you find out things about people that you think oh, you would mind. Nelson Mandela is another one. Like, and his wife Winnie. Ooh, she like burnt people alive um, in tires. Like, what you think? Mm, you think people is, are good is, and they're really not. Mother Teresa, I, I still I, will technically say that I admire her, but all she let people die and gave the money to the church, which all she had to do was they all, all they needed was a particular drug and they didn't have to die of what they died of. So there's uh, we're just I, we are we are in a matrix. We are. This is not yeah. what I intended to talk about, but this no, is so good. I, know, I, I like know. where we're headed. <laughs> yeah, no, I look, but if, the thing is, when people say, Oh, you conspiracy theorists, and I just go. All you got to do is have a look at where we are because I can guarantee you two years ago if I said, hey, the government's going to say you've got to wear a mask everywhere you go, you're not going to be able to leave your house, you're not going to be able to do this, have that, people would have laughed and said, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right, so, exactly. So how can you be so uh, arrogant and, and just sort of go, oh, that's not, you know, that, that's not true. Man, we really need to start – think it like there is a club and and i think a comedian once said this um we are not part of that club you know 
No, we're not. Okay. And that's why they're trying. The funny thing is, those of us who aren't taking it, what is, what is their plan? Because, oh, I should have said this at the start of my oh. video and I forgot. Um, guys, uh, please do your own research. We do not mean to give any medical misinformation or any misinformation in general. I should have said that at the start. YouTube, I've said it, so you can't remove this video. Can you, um, oh, you can't even edit it because it was live. Yeah. It's yeah, fine. it's yeah. fine. Um, okay. I'll say yeah. it and I'll, I'll, I'll write it down in the description box below so yeah. it doesn't get yeah. removed. So we'll, just maybe we'll be careful then with what we talk about. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's yeah. fine. But um, if, 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 the goal, if, the, if the goal is to um, what they're saying, population control, and we don't know the, the exact goal for sure, but that no. seems, it sounds very likely, they're not succeeding for the ones who haven't taken it. And so, like, um, the only the only answer I have to that is that being around being around those who who have been inoculated will have us because they're spreading, right? Well, then we could possibly die as well. And I have so many people who have take who have taken it um, who might be dead in two or three years. I really hope I'm wrong about that. I really no, hope that the yeah. research is wrong about that. I'm, I'm, no. I, I don't want to believe that. No, you know what? I, I, I don't believe that. Um, I, I, right, well, no, why? Tell me, because that's been upsetting me. It's oh, been one of my oh, main cries. No, my my no. main crying and my no. main prayers are no. that, that my family doesn't die for taking it. No, dear, no, no, no. So uh, no, you can't even think like that. You know, a lot of I'm praying. Family, yeah, and, and good. I'm glad, you know, and we should be praying regardless. But, you know, a lot of my friends and family have had it, you know, and, um, and it's their decision and I respect them and, and some haven't. But... The truth is, we don't know, and that's all you got to no, remember. We, don't. we actually yeah. don't know. Like, so when people come on and say you're going to be fine, that we don't know. But when people come on and say you're going to be dead, we don't know. You just cannot. No. So, yeah, so, that's true. so don't don't let you. So you're I'm just. Be dead. I'm yeah. trying to be as rational as possible because I don't want to yeah. be Like you know, we, we've got to be careful not to buy into fear mongering on both sides. And yeah, you know. It's yeah. not good for you, basically. No, it isn't. Sorry. I'm yeah. just I thought you were opening a Coke Zero. No, no. See, this is my new addiction. See that? You can get oh. these at Coles. Ice cup. Nice. Yeah. I it's, love coffee. It's, yeah. It's just, yeah, and I don't, I'm not normally a coffee drinker, but yep. it's just, it's just the powder and just water. And oh, I've been doing so much. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's my favorite. I love it. That is very good. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing another one right now. Anyway, uh, don't mind me while I, you know, no, no, do my, no, my other addiction. <laughs> no, no, okay. it's, it's, a, it's not a bad one. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about your um, attempt as a musician Yeah. right now in the last year and, and, and the last couple, the last two years we've been in. Yeah. Um, so um, obviously there's not much of a gig life. There's um, no gig life there's no all. gig life yeah. so how how are you making money not obviously yeah. not as not i mean obviously i shouldn't say obviously you can probably yeah. make you, you have you have a whole music list on your spotify right yeah, your music's on, on spotify on, not on my band camp actually so band i'm oh, sorry okay band that, camp. that's I did okay that. no yeah, that's I fine so that. look you know people that like the music that i write um are generous enough and they go and they purchase it um and i think it's like two dollars fifty so that that's been amazing to help me keep afloat in a lot of ways um so i'm very fortunate for that um yeah but look no gig life that is horrible and it's saddening but you know what's even worse it's required for a musician hey? gig life is required ah. like you're you're supposed to be doing you're supposed to be going your wineries and and pubs and you're supposed yeah, yeah. to be able to do that but yeah, you and can't. Melbourne, Melbourne was this creative, like Melbourne was amazing. Yeah, it like, was. It, it really was incredible. Um, but you know what gets me is that rehearsal studios they closed them down, so people couldn't even mm. get together and practice with their own band. So anything that was good for you, any type of creating band, anything that's good for you is banned. Like, didn't they get rid in Victoria? They got rid of tea rooms for like people working outside, and so they sat yeah. on tables and put them on the roads. I'm like, good. Oh, it's the that. dumb, oh, dumbest thing. And now we're going to start seeing, we're literally going to start seeing people knocking people back because they're not, um, you know, they don't have the the medicine or whatever. 
going yeah. into shops. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just, you know, am I meant to tell my grandmother that she doesn't matter, but my grandfather that he matters? Is mm -hmm. that what I'm meant to do? Am I meant to say to my grandmother, you haven't had it, so you can sit at home and rot and die because my grandfather's had it, who had Bell's palsy, like he had a, a reaction to, you know, but oh. like, anyway. Oh, and don't even start me on that. I know we're not meant to be talking about this, but. No, I'm so modestly, I don't mind where the conversation's going. Oh, it's the same thing that happened with Senator Malcolm Roberts. Oh, we ended up talking more about the Bible than, than politics, but oh, so it was fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> you know, what the, our biggest enemy is censorship because if we were all yes. allowed to have an open and honest discussion, then we would actually be okay, but they don't want us to have that. They don't want to have us. They don't want us to have that discussion because they're lying. So when they say that these side effects are rare, what does rare mean? Rare. The definition is hardly ever, right? Hardly yeah. ever. One in okay? a million. I don't yeah, know. That's rare. They're obviously trying to uh, to change the definition of rare because I can tell you right now, I know. Oh my goodness. Neighbor went to hang hospital. On. Yo. Sorry, sorry. Hang on. My. Give me a sec. Sorry, my my. Yeah, all good. Okay. My apologies. My. That's okay. My phone. I thought my laptop was charging, and it wasn't. Now it is. Okay. All good. Oh, <laughs> shit. Cool. Yeah, okay. I keep watching right. my battery as well. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah keep my, going. Yeah. My neighbor off to hospital. She went after her first. Um, my friend, two of her colleagues, one of them went to hospital. Um, the other one I believe now has a condition. Uh, so that's already three. My grandfather, uh, now he's too scared to have his second one. Um, and I know there are more, but I just go, uh, but I also know many that have had it and had no issues, right? And that's cool. But, well, but hang on a second, course. where there is risk, shouldn't there be choice, right? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all we're trying to say. So I don't understand the, what's going on. The, it's funny too because people would ask earlier, earlier in the year, early in 2020, early when it was happening, everyone said, how many How many of you know someone who's personally had C19? Yeah. And usually the answer was, um, oh, I don't know anyone. Yeah. That's not my answer anymore. I do know people, a cousin yeah. of mine in Colombia who yeah. I actually interviewed on this channel Okay. Uh, got it. But yep. she was fine after like a week. She was fine. Okay. So and so I was like, all right, yep. well, there you go. But the thing is, you've just named, you've just literally said about four people yeah. with with the inoculation. I'm purposely using that word instead of the V word. Yeah. Yep. You've you yeah, you've named that many people with the inoculation that have had some sort of a reaction. Now, no one in no one who I know in life has had a reaction, thank the Lord. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that something cannot arise later. And that, that is my concern. And my father, for example, didn't know, he didn't he didn't want to take the the, the inoculation. Uh, he, he was scared. He goes, "Well, I'm old. Like, what if uh, like I get a how, blood sorry, clot?" Sorry, how old is he? Ah, uh, if you 70, don't mind me asking. Yeah, okay. I think he's seventy six. I think he's so seventy six. My, my father, he's a bit old. Yeah. So can someone explain this to me? When we when they told us two weeks to flatten the curve, we are doing. We were meant to be doing it to protect our elderly and vulnerable. My right? dad is so, in that category, yeah. Totally. So tell me now why, have people lost their minds? Why yes. are we now forcing a 70-year-old man to take something he doesn't want to take? No, he doesn't want to take it. He was scared to, yeah. That, I mean, that is heartbreaking. I just, yeah. I really feel for a lot of our elderly people, I just go, they have worked hard, you know, they are, you know, they're meant to be enjoying their older, their later years. You know, they should be free to to do what they want with their bodies. And if they want to do it mm. to feel better, then good. But, you know, to be forcing them. I know a 74-year-old woman who's about to lose her job because she won't have it. Mm. I, I go, she's 74, I think, yeah. Yeah, and it's also like it's really gotten to people. It's like even... Um... It's even um, going to segregate families. Um, like, I don't know what my Christmas is going to be like, and it makes me really sad. Yeah. And it, it, is that happening in your family? 
Yeah, so look, I... Is there so segregation far, happening? No, look, no. no. So, so far, I'm very, very lucky. And like I've said, um, half are uh, inoculated and the other half are not. And um, and some of them I don't know because we don't ask because it's... Because we know. Well, it's, well, it's not our business. Like, you know, it, you know, I wouldn't ask them if they've had, a, like, something else. Like, we just don't, right? Did you um, get some last night? Did you get yeah. penetrated? You to, wouldn't to, do that. So. No. no. You know, you're not yeah. going to walk into your family Christmas and go, hey, I'm just coming back from my pap smear. Like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Um, I probably uh, would, but well, yeah. depending, <laughs> just depending, because I'm inappropriate with my humour. De yeah, depending like, on the person or family. Of course, um, yeah. But, look, yeah, so with my family, no. Uh, you know, we, we love and respect one another. Um, yeah. I would hope. I don't know if they talk behind people's but Like, I don't know, but I, I'm sure it, it's all good so far. But a lot of my friends are having a really hard time um, yeah, and the segregation is really real. I'm having people tell me that they're not allowed to see their nieces and nephews because they're not, uh, you know, I don't know. And I also, I, also, I also want to make it, I also want this to be noted by anyone who's watching or will watch. I, I, I condemn it both ways. I know a lady who says she will not allow her kids to hug their grandparents because they are inoculated. Oh, and so, just so I, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew I'm not this one-sided biased person. I find that just as stupid. Okay, yeah. guys, uh, people on, 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 on who are talking, I'm not going to say my side, but t that's what I, if that it's easier for people to align it that way. So people who are more on, on our side of thinking who do that, I find that just as retarded. Okay. So let's just put that out there. But yeah. Look, I'm glad you said that, um, you know, anytime I do a video, I think I, I always like to be really clear that I, you know, I hate it when I see people um, saying that uh, unja uh, unjabbed people um, should get C-19 and die. I'm like, that's disgusting. But then I will also call out when I hear people saying, oh, they'll be dead in six months. Like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, let let them kill the shit. And you know what? I might have said that once or twice. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, that, you know, but, look, no, no, no. Thank you. No, honestly, yeah. that was good that you just said that. Thank you. But but we all learn. Like I remember at the beginning, yeah. I was so frustrated with the mask thing that mm. I, you know, I I used the word sheep a few times, and I pulled myself self up on it, and and I went, "That's not sheep is not an it, evil word." No, but, no, but I'm like, that, that's not gonna that's not going to win this. I'm like, we actually just need more tolerance all round. Mm. You know, mm. they want, they want fighting. They want divide. They created it. They the divide did. was created by them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And and we're all, you know, um, buying into it. And I think for a lot of us, you know, we're doing our best not to. And, of course, sometimes you have a moment where you slip and that's okay. Yeah. But we really just need, oh, same, you know, we're human. But I think as long as we remember, we just tolerance love and kindness i think that's the best way yeah absolutely um so audience sometimes ask questions towards the end sure. dave f uh when will vanessa be putting more material up on bandcamp yay um cool so i've got <laughs> heaps i've got heaps of stuff recorded um i'm gonna put a new track up next week actually um nice. which is cool um and it's just been it's about being uh <laughs> pushed around uh during lockdown um, so that's a really new one. That no I one can relate to ago. that, though, Vanessa. No, you have to write songs no. that people can relate I, to, you silly I, lady. I know. I know. Why am I <laughs> Um So, yeah, next week and then um, I've got a few more to come after that, yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, if anyone else has questions, please go ahead and um, pop them in the comments and I'll pop them up. Um, and so <clears throat> are, you, are you planning on staying in Victoria um, or be, uh, obviously – we know that there are passports that may be implemented in Victoria, but they'll. Yeah. I don't think they will have much success, to be honest. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think at the end of the day, maybe I'm just being optimistic, but I honestly believe most people do not want to live in a segregated society. You know, when they yes. are actually, when they are confronted with that, oh, I can go in, but my friend can't. What? Like, they don't want that. Um, mm. So I think... I don't think they're going to have much luck, but I no. think, you know, um, it, it's going to be really uncomfortable in the interim while we wait for that change to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Um, 
recently, oh, okay. Um, apparently I need to apologize to you because I'm being really condescending towards you and I'm not letting you speak. What? No, geez. Oh my God. D's amazing. I, no, I don't I'm, know. No, do not apologize. I don't know who Simon is, but um, Simon, I no, D's. This is D's channel. D's had me on, so you know, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I find that quite funny because I literally gave you the floor. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, don't know. I thought I was cutting you off before, so you know. Oh, I do interrupt, but I mean, I always. But, but hang on. I, no, but we are like having a we're really girls. good, and we're having yeah. a good, passionate like conversation. Yeah. It's meant to be like that. It's well, real. It's meant to be like real life. Yeah, I'm, I'm offended. Sorry if I did look down. At, yeah, bitch. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm offended. I'm fucking hurt. Anyway, um, yeah, I was going to say good. that do you know the Home and Away actress? Uh, I don't know her, but Sam Frost. Yeah. Yeah, so she, she released that video talking about segregation and all that, and then some other woman released a video mocking her. Okay, so who was the woman mocking her? I didn't see uh, that. It came under Frost, F-R, like triple O-S-T. And so I put that up on my private Instagram account under my real name, Claudia, um, mm -hmm. which, which only certain people have uh, – Privy to seeing. Anyway, and this girl that I know is laughing, going, ha, 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 that's a funny video. And I had just put up, oh, wow, what a scumbag for laughing at Sam Sam Frost. And then um, I didn't want to bother talking to her, so I put up another video and I said, for those people who found the previous post funny, yeah. um, would you, you're the very same people who would be discriminating against um, black people sitting at the back of the bus or entering your establishment. And yeah. she responded to it. And all she wrote was, that's not the same thing. And I'm like. No, no of course not. But uh, it is. It's discrimination. It's the same thing. Yeah. The difference the, is a liquid. It's just a liquid. Discrimination is discrimination. You don't, you, the definition doesn't change, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And oh, and now I, you, that, uh, sorry. No, no, and it should have pissed you off because you're so like, I don't know how these people, and they are starting to say that now, oh, it's not the same, it's not it's, it's not segregation because it's not about colour. Mate, it's fucking discrimination. However, you know, like this is medical segregation. It's the same yeah. thing, you know, and it is just sickening that Sam Frost got bullied off social media just for having her own opinion about her own body. Yes, it, it, it pissed me off. I was majorly angry about it. I do think because maybe I have, I've been at this for five years and she's, she's obviously a far bigger, she's a huge name. I'm, I'm a nobody compared to her and I know that, that's fine. But my point being that I've been bullied online, I've had pylons, I've been dogpiled on and um, I've maintained my ground. I've stayed online um, yeah. and now I'm, you know, I, I don't care anymore. But I, I, she, she didn't, yes, she was bullied to the point where she felt she had to leave, but she should have stood her ground a little bit more. That was her choice. But, yeah, it is sad. It is sad. I, I agree. I, you know what? I totally agree with you. You know, mm. when you go up, you, you know, retracting like that, it's it, it really doesn't show strength at all, does it? Like strength of character, you know? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really show conviction. Um, is everything all right? Yeah, sorry, just checking on my dog, checking she's not uh, wrecking the house. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. But, um, How cute. Yeah, she's very cute. But um, look, I, I wish she stayed up. I don't know if she got back on or, or what she, whatever. But look, this is mainstream media. They are to blame for all of this. Literally. Oh, yes. They not are just them, also the government. Yep. And yep. yep. We, could you imagine, like, we had no – I mean, we, we'd be a different world without – Mainstream, so Polly's use the mainstream media to to basically shift people's minds. Yeah, that's you know everything I hear when I'm at work. I'll just bef uh, I'll just put the this is my friend Bering. He's um also a YouTuber. Um, do you think I'll be allowed to go to Victoria for my dad's seventieth birthday by early December? Border is currently oh. closed. I think you probably can. You just have to land in Sydney and then somehow drive through the border by taking back streets. That is what I will say to you, my friend. Yeah, That would be the way I'd go about it. 
Yeah, I think Dee is right. I know people that are doing it and it's sort of like that, I would say. Do you? Yeah. All right, I'm talking to you off camera later about that specifically. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, no, no reason in particular. No, just, yeah. just, no. just a yeah. casual chat. Just casual yeah. chat. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what I, I, I was holding a thought about something and I then I got distracted from my friend Bearing. No, that's okay. I think we were just talking about Sam Frost and the mainstream media and how they are the problem, really. Well, yeah, they are the it. problem, and and yeah, that that's completely that's completely accurate. And um, I just I wish that people once. Oh, that's right. I, I I go to work and I hear what everything what everyone says, and it's literally they are mouthpieces for what they just heard on the news. I know. I and I'm know. like, come on. Think. I know. I. It really I, I, frustrates me. Uh, it really frustrates me. I had flat earthers on my channel and people were like, you're a flat earther now? I'm like, no, but I just don't always believe the narrative. Why should I believe NASA? I don't believe the earth is flat because I know that there's a telescope that's looked at the earth or whatever, so I know it's not flat. But, like, but aren't you what's allowed wrong? to? No, I, why not explore their thoughts? That doesn't make me an idiot. Like, yeah. ugh, it's, and it's, I, I use that example. Sorry, that's go. A great, no, no, you're right. That's a great example. But, like, they would, they're scared. They are so scared. They cannot let our points of view and our questions get out because they know other people will go, hang on, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, the, the, the shadow banning, the censorship, like, it is bad and that's why, yeah. Well, how much of what we were taught in school is, is real? I'm oh. a Christian, so I've never believed that we came from apes. I just never yeah. did. Just I don't even remember. Me. I don't even remember yeah. that. So I'm glad. I'm like, oh, dude, is that what they taught us? I, don't even <laughs> I just yeah. don't think we did. But yeah. like, my point being that, like, how does one pick and choose what what is real and what is not real? Do you know what I mean? You know, I think you would be a really naive person to say that you know everything. Basically, oh, for sure. like you know. So I think the least people can do is just be open, as you said, to exploring. That's it. Oh yeah, and I I, I love yeah. doing that, and I get I get in trouble for it by some people, but I don't care. I'll, I'll still oh. keep asking the questions. Totally, like how how fun are questions and learning <laughs> and and like challenging, you know, thoughts that you've had for maybe like twenty years, and then going, mm. oh, how cool is it when you discover something about someone that you loved, right? And you're like, oh my god, like. Like even though it's heartbreaking, it's pretty. It's it's pretty incredible. Like to go through that motion and be like, "Whoa, everything I knew about that person is so wrong." Like, Absolutely. Yeah, but you got to no, be very open. Very true. Yeah. Is your hair naturally black? It's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not not black. But yeah. Do you know who you look like or who you remind me of? No. There is a show called Jessica Jones on Netflix. Yeah. I'll be you googling like this now. I'll do it now. I'll show you. I'll show you how. Oh, now. this better be good. I think you'll like it. She's pretty. She's pretty. I don't know the actress's name, but um, okay. hang on. It's a Netflix show. Yeah, she's a superhero, or I guess you could say more of a. Uh, 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 I don't know what the word is, but um, hang on. Images. Hmm. You remind me of her. What's a show called? I'm going to go, oh, wow. Well, Jessica yeah. Jones. Yeah, I can take that. Okay, sure. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, good. There's Great. another question finally. Uh, given your background, Vanessa, and being in the creative arts, what advice could you give to those who struggle with, one, addiction, and two, being outed for beliefs by former friends? Good question, Jesse. Yeah, that is a great question. Uh, giving your background and being great answer the advice that you give to those. Okay, so my advice for people struggling with addiction is mm. you, you just don't stop trying, you know. So it took me many attempts, you know, and then I had a really a, a long clean period and then I relapsed. But if you really want to change, you just have to keep trying. Um, and you will probably fail a thousand times before you actually do it. Uh, but you just can't stop trying. And also for people watching loved ones who maybe have an active addiction, you know, as hard as it is, you sort of just have to step back and, and you know, I think let them know that you are there to help them. 
uh, but you can't actually ever do anything for that person. They need to really want to do something. Um, it just won't work. Um, mm. And in terms of being out of the police by former friends, you know what I've done about that? I've gone and written songs about those friends because, you know what, they're not really friends if they're going to, um, you know, yeah, uh, have a sook because, you know, you've got different beliefs. Yeah. So people like that, you don't need people like that in your life and you would be the same, dear, like with people. That, oh, I've lost so many yeah. friends. Mm. Yep. I mean, they're okay. not, it is what it is. And you just go, they're not worth it. I have had a couple of people apologize um, and they've said they're sorry, um, you know, that we, we can disagree and still be friends. Um, and I chose at that moment to, to forgive this person uh, because I know how horrible the last two years has been. Um, so I think most people come around if, if uh, they are good people. I think they do. And if they're not, then they're not worth your time. Yeah. Mm, for sure. Um, yeah. He also wanted to add that, and I don't even think you took it that way, but he, he just said, by the way, no disrespect reference. Um, no disrespect reference the addiction. I was an addict to Valium and a chronic alcoholic at one stage. Wow. So well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, no, and absolutely no disrespect. You know, I am an open book pretty much. Uh, yeah. But is this chick a musician? Yes, Bering. <laughs> she's a musician. <laughs> Where have you been, Bering? I think he, he just he got in there late. No, jo joking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, well done for kicking volume and alcohol. That's really tough, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really hard. Yeah. Um, by the way, this is nothing to do with anything, but yeah. I've written lyrics. I've written lyrics yeah. to um, Aladdin's A Whole New World. And yeah. um, I've been looking for someone <laughs> to help me yeah. record it and, yeah. like, release it because it's a funny parody version but it's C19 related. So if yeah. I ever meet you, maybe you could hook me up because <laughs> it would be so fun. Yeah, yeah. I would love to absolutely help with that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. you got to hurry up and come to Victoria. I'll figure it out. I just need to, <laughs> No, you know. I, No, fair, yeah. <laughs> is there I'm, a link? I, yes, in the description box below, there is her Instagram and her um, YouTube, but I haven't added her uh, her set list or anything like that. But um, could they find your set list through yeah. through those so, two platforms well, um, that I, I have not, placed? So I think the band camp. If you just go to the band camp website, all right, I'll think, add that later then. Oh, okay, awesome. I'll add that I, after this live so that he can. I think yeah, yeah. I don't know where the link for that is. It might be my YouTube. I I'm not very good at that, but yeah, yeah, cool, mm. great. <laughs> Someone just asked, oh. I hope you like my atheist big comment. I've been doing a lot of videos that are not anti-atheists, but anti-atheist logic. So if you're respectful back, then I, I won't care what you say in response. I think it's just great to, for everyone to just talk regardless, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, my videos are just yeah. silly. They're like 30 seconds to a minute when I'm like, oh, atheist logic, we came from monkeys. Like, oh, it, actually, I'm not, I'm not being that. nasty. Yeah. No, oh, you saw that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm did, not being but... mean. No, but also, like, I think we've just all become a bit too sensitive, like this mm -hmm. PC culture, and I could talk about that. Sensitive. It's just insane. And all I go, day. it's like enough is enough now. Like, mm. oh, no, I'm not going to start because this will go, like, it's ridiculous. But For like, a few more hours. <laughs> yeah, it's got to stop. It's a joke. People need to just, yeah, get a bit of thicker skin. Yeah. For sure. When did you yeah. personally, because we were talking about it earlier and I said I noticed it when Caitlyn Jenner was Caitlyn yeah. Jenner, I started to notice, oh, now we're not allowed to say this. Oh, now they're being cancelled for that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Like Dave Chappelle, right? Um, when did you notice it? Were you on drugs back then in 2016? No, you know what? It's probably been, I would say, the last five years. Yep, I don't yeah. know what the defining moment I, was. I think so. Yeah, I, none of us will but, know that. That, that yeah. there's no real but moment. But easily, I the last five years, and oh, I've got to be very careful with what I say. But yeah, just um, noticing people were all of the sudden um, there was stuff, things that you couldn't say, you know. Um, yeah. And then, and then certain movements were growing, and. Uh, you know, it was just crazy. Yeah. Things that I'd said my whole life and made fun yeah. of my whole life. Like to not even be able to say, oh, that's gay. Like, like it's I think, like, right. no, this, like, this is not, like, who's hurting when, like, it, I don't understand. Yeah. But I reckon five years ago. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. It was funny yeah. you say that because when I was in grade three, when I was in grade three, I specifically remember getting kicked out of the classroom because I referred to a friend as spastic and I just meant like idiot. <laughs> like, and so I'm not saying yeah. it started then, but um, that I remember thinking I literally just said spastic. I didn't, I didn't make fun of a mentally challenged individual. I didn't do an impression no. of them. And I remember, I remember that. I still remember that. So I think I was always very, I don't know what the word is, well, aware you, of my well, surroundings, maybe. Well, no, it I don't sounds know. like you were always had the ability to think for yourself. Like a I critical think so, thinker. at least yeah. on some levels. But you did, yeah. you were too. In, yeah. in your, in your, in your, mo this is a weird question. When you're in the high, I've never been high before. Yeah, I've been sure. drunk. Oh, well, yeah. I guess when I was on marijuana and I got the munchies, is that a form of high? Anyway. I don't, yeah, I yeah, guess I it, know. yeah, it, it is. is that, I don't smoke. Yeah, so I don't smoke when, pot, so I don't know. But No, no, yeah, I don't yeah. either. I just did that time. But um, yeah. when you're, when you're high and you, you took heroin, are you aware of your surroundings? It's a really. Or are you, yeah, explain it, please. It's a very incredible feeling, and I think this is why it is so addictive. Um, so you, I guess you are aware of your surroundings, for sure, unless, you, unless you've had a lot, and so you're like people would call it on the nod, and like so you're like half asleep, obviously, so you're not really aware at that point. But, um, yeah, you are aware of your surroundings, for sure, but you just don't care about your surroundings, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Bell, another. Oh. You are one strong lady, Vanessa. Hats off. Oh. My sis knows. He means me that I'm his sister. Oh. He's, he's from Queensland, but he he's like my big brother. My sis oh. knows how proud I am of her. If I was talking to you on the same level, I would be proud of you. Oh, oh that, Jesse, that's really sweet. That's a really nice, nice, beautiful message. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. More um, kindness was, all around, yep. Yeah, my, my, I used to have really horrible audience of people, but now um, it's developed out of what it was well, and now I have it. a great, yeah, I have great, great people who are not, well, like, demanding things of me. You know, they're very, they're great for the most so part. So did, did you have, um, obviously in the beginning right. you, you don't have many people and then do you have, and then you had trolls, right? Yeah, the trolls. Uh, started off as people who would give me advice and were really kind and, and, and all of that. But it was people who who wanted something of me and if I didn't do what they said, then yeah. I was a slut or I was a whore or, you know, deport dear. Um, this <sighs> really stupid stuff. And I'm like, and I'm literally not, you don't even need all the context. That's, I'm not even exaggerating what I'm saying to you. I'm really no, not. Could, yeah. 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 I could give you the context and it'd make it more, it'd make it on my eye, it'd make it more understandable. But yeah, that's sort of how it, how it was for me. Um, super but success. That, that's, to, sorry, oh, yeah, go. I was going to say, that's incredible that you stood your ground. Mm. And isn't that amazing how the trolls, well, they, they tried they to they cancel and... me. Yeah. They tried to cancel me. They, they, they set me up for, for things they said that I did a crime that I never did and they the then fuck? yeah and I'm still here and now I'm interviewing um more mainstream people I mean, it yep. doesn't even matter I interview all types <laughs> no, of people yeah it doesn't matter yep. who I'm no. interviewing in terms of high profile but no, my point but is understand. that these people are out of their league yeah wow. that, that's sort of what I mean to say well done and you just thank you, you. Know, yeah what you just keep going yeah good on you, man that's great yeah <laughs> who are your top five Favorite this artists is, and albums. Look, Good honestly, I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know how to answer you don't know? that. That's so hard. I have such a wide range. Oh um, huge. Are you okay? I've got something in my eye. It's all good. <laughs> They're very big. It'll come out. <laughs> okay. Maybe um, water or something if it's bad. Not right but, now. Um, no, fair enough. Yeah, you'll write that. I understand. <laughs> um, look, I don't know. I, I love people uh, everywhere from, um, so like Nirvana. Uh, to Blondie, I love 50s music, um, 50s and 60s, absolutely love 50s and 60s music. Um, the list just goes on. I mean, it just, you know, I just love good music, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Is Britney Spears good music? Is I the love Spice Girls good music? Um, yeah, they had some I used to songs. love both of those. Oh, yeah, no, you know what, Britney had some great songs. I actually love Britney's Blackout album. That was my favourite. Oh, which I don't have. There you go. But oh. I know the two songs. That, do you want a piece of me? That's on yeah. that album, right? That yeah. album was great. 
best album. And that was that was that was in her insane times. But I actually think what happened to her was that that was her most aware time because she yes. had freed herself from whatever the Illuminati or whatever words you want to use. She had freed herself from it, and then yep. now she's right back in again. Totally. But yeah, so maybe that's why the album is so good. Yes, it, could be that. it is. It's you totally, reckon? Yeah. yeah, that's what I think anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's I what I tell myself. Both, yeah. We both cool. agree. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. I love nobody, but Dia makes content interesting. I'm just chatty. Which is great. Yeah, there's nothing worse than having a bloody interviewer that can't talk. <laughs> yes. Dia, yeah. you and Vanessa are awesome chicks. Alice from Insta. Uh, that's sweet. Thanks. That's so yeah, sweet. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having that. me, Dia. Thank you very much. It's been oh, a time. interesting all over the place chat. Shane yeah. Thompson. Some people think Dia is a Zionist. Yes, because my earlier videos I was. Now I'm neutral. Ah. So I don't really see like how that's relevant to anything. <laughs> I don't see how that's relevant to anything at all. No. I, I was. And, and they do deserve to exist. I don't think any group of people should be wiped out. No. But I, well, I, I used to be a Zionist, yeah. Ah. I actually don't but know I, much about much, so, you know. I just well, agree just, with you that the, all people deserve to exist and, yeah. and, and live, yes, and have their own. Like I think Assyrians need their own land and, like, I think everyone should have their own place. Well, yeah, but there's enough room, isn't there? Like, there should honestly, be. Yeah. There's, there's so much money. desert, so much desert, and if people can live in the desert like in Saudi Arabia, like, I don't know. When I drive from Melbourne to Victoria, from Victoria to Sid, from Victoria to New South Wales or New South Wales to Victoria, there's so much land. Like I'm not saying we really? should give our land away. I don't want to. But, it's, but my point is people say we're overpopulated. How are we overpopulated? There no, are valleys just, and valleys and yeah, valleys. When we're you're just driving. condensed. I know. There is so much yeah. land and there is. they don't want us to have the land. It's that, no, they that's don't. It. They just don't want us to have it. Yeah. And they don't want people to live in harmony. You no, know. they don't. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. um, JD86, what do you ladies do in your downtime to chill and take your mind away from the stress of current times? You answer because you're my guest. Oh, that's, that's a great question. Look, um, I've got a dog. So I, <laughs> she's 50, she's almost 15. Um, oh. I'm lucky. Yeah, I live near the beach and so we hang out at the beach. Um, she is my mental health whatever. Like she just when I'm with you're her. I'm, yeah, I'm with her and I'm enjoying being I'm enjoying watching her enjoy life it's the little things and in life it is the most beautiful thing and it's uh yeah it's it's awesome yeah what you about what you dear? I'll answer his question or her question in a second but I do love watching videos in the Instagram reels or the the the, the, the YouTube shorts or TikTok I don't have TikTok but I no. know that they're TikTok videos that yeah. are being that are being transferred to YouTube when like someone's on the phone and they're purposely saying words that dogs like oh, they're saying like park like food and, and, or like yeah and dinner. then it was like yeah or they do the opposite and they go oh they're going to the vet oh, i was going to get a shot and the dog's nose goes ruff, ruff. like dogs are so cute yeah. dogs are amazing I they're beautiful walk. yeah yeah they are the best <laughs> yeah so true. what do you do in your um, downtime in my downtime um i like to sometimes if i'm really bored and i just don't want to do anything i'll, I'll waste time on the internet just doing literally what i just said also, yep. though, I am a content creator, so sometimes I'm making videos or video essays. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like to read. I like to go for walks. Mm. Um, when I'm around girlfriends, um, friends, I like to hang out with them and just chill. Um, I also like to read. Um, I'm becoming, I'm trying to be more involved with uh, my faith, and so I'm reading the Bible more. Wow. Um, and sometimes I, I I try and I cook and I try different things as well, but mostly, yeah, the, all of that. And oh no, also I'm trying to roller skate at the moment, oh, but cool. it's not going very well. <laughs> Is that a bruise? Is yeah, that a bruise? Like, yeah, they're oh, everywhere. They're all over. No, I even so have one on my under oh, I'm trying to exercise, but I'm you not. Know, you've got to, do you know what you're doing wrong? You've got to do um, roller blades. Not roller skates. I probably should have done roller blades because oh. I remember that I used to know how to ice skate and it's a similar it, logic it's actually, concept yeah. but it's too late i yeah. bought the skates so oh, like, no. they were like 180 dollars they were expensive you would love it here like literally they all um they gather on the week they gather on the um I on the weekend i can't even stand on them oh really okay it's all pretty right. bad but it's okay i'll get there i just need someone to help me don't give up <laughs> 
He's out there. Yeah, exactly. Or she's out there. Vanessa, what do you think of Five Finger? Oh, he's obsessed with them. He always talks about these people. Five Finger Death Punch. Do you know them? It's a band. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't actually know them. Yeah, I think I, he, only he knows them. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what genre are they? I think they're yeah. like rock. Okay. They're not heavy metal or anything. So if if they are sort of current, like last five years, I probably wouldn't know them. I sort of no, just no. I don't think they are. I don't ah, think they are current, okay. but I could I could be wrong. Okay, I I will have a look. Yeah, yep. I'm not too sure, yeah. but I, I do love a broad range of music. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, here we go. This is I, yeah. No, no, go go. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say the only thing I don't really like is like death metal and stuff like that oh no I neither listen. i don't like death yeah, metal. I, I can't I, it needs to have a melody for me to yeah. enjoy it yeah no, i um, agree with that a lot with that concept yeah. uh yeah this is dave f um this isn't a question but i think it's worth putting up they want yeah. us all into smart cities owning yeah. nothing um eating bugs and being happy with our total lack of privacy and bodily autonomy the thing yeah. is though dave that's not even worth doubting because Klaus Schwab, the leader of the um, World Economic Forum, pretty much yep. said they will own nothing but they'll be happy. The, uh, the, uh, like, uh, like, yep. You're not my ruler. You're not my dad. Piss off. You can't say but that to is, me, bro. But this is the thing, guys. Like, but Dave, he's right. Yep, absolutely. But this is the thing. They've they've come out and said this openly. They have. They've, so it, they're, they're not even lying. They're saying it. They're telling us. It's <sighs> in it's, it's in documents. Like, it's all there. Yet, yeah, you still can't. Yet, the majority of people will just won't listen, and I don't know why that is. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, mean, no, I wish I, I had we, an we are nuts to them, to them, to the family members and the friends that that look at us the way that they look at us. We are nuts to them. Yeah, I don't and understand. Yeah, I think Have it's just seen? sorry. No, no, no. I was about to read the comment. Go. What were you going to say? I was just going to say I think it's the inability to confront what's happening like yeah. i think it is that it is that yeah. um uh have you seen the codex Sin sinaiticus oldest version of the gospels known to exist no why would i read mm -hmm. them if they're in, if they're in the bible then why would i read them elsewhere unless you're talking about extra biblical texts then no i haven't read them all right i'm gonna finish wow. off but um let's see what other questions there are what is this? What's rollerblading and banging a fat cheek got in common? They're both great fun till your mates find out. <laughs> I don't care. I, love I don't know. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I never understand jokes. Like, yeah, I really do. But I think that's the funny. He's saying that like banging a fat cheek mm -hmm. is, is just as fun as rollerblading, you know, until your friends find out. Oh, I get it. Like, yeah. it's uncool. Like, it's uncool. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, pretty much. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Yep. Yeah. You would be the worst comedian, you, wouldn't you? I'd suck. But you know what? You can't even <laughs> say that anymore. You could Probably. That, that joke right there, you get, like, cancelled for saying that shit. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Well, look, uh, we're, we're done for tonight. Thank you guys so, Yay. so much. Um, next week I have Andy Worski and Kyla on my show. It'll be really fun. We're just going to look at like old funny headlines and comment, do commentary on that. So I'm excited for next wow. Wednesday. I was really so happy that you came on my show. You first came on my friend's show um, and now you're here and I'm super thrilled to have you. And um, your story is actually a very inspirational one. It's good to see someone who had an addiction, overcame the addiction and is now fighting for like the rights of everyone even the ones who hate us. Like, it's good. That means a lot. It, it actually does. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, it's been a crazy few weeks. So, yeah, mm -hmm. today's been the, the best day in a few weeks. So thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. so glad I made your day so awesome. No, no thank you. No, but li no, literally the, the last few weeks have been a write-off. Like, they've been so bad. So today was actually the first okay day. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So well, I'm, God I'm bless just, you. Yeah. Yeah, thank okay. you, dear. Yeah. Well, guys, please make sure that you um, – her most of her information is below. I didn't add the band camp. I will do it now. And um, please join me next week as well. And, um, yeah, make sure you follow – make sure you follow Vanessa. Thanks, dear. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm going to end Bye. the broadcast now.